and my question for you is that um, how does the dreams of the patient help us in understanding the core of the individual and how does this understanding help us in coming to the rubric So thank you, Karuna, for asking your question. And you are uh, from LMHF Pune College, and I have a very uh, old association and a very close association with uh, LMHF uh, College in Pune. It's probably one of the first colleges where I started teaching uh, many years back, and um, I came a few times there. I have very close relationship with uh, Dr. Paran Spe there, who is a very close friend of mine, and also. the principal there and many teachers there they are very friendly warm and i do believe that it's one of the finest colleges of homeopathy in india currently i believe so uh, lmhf so you are lucky to have uh, been a very good college and also uh, have a mentor like dr paran spe so you are lucky there so we'll talk about your question so dr karuna first of all you are in the second year and you are asking questions about the dreams it's really yani till i finished my college and till i finished my internship and about till 2 years into practice i i really did not ever ask any patient about dreams because my knowledge was not that intense to understand or to go so much in depth what i'm trying to tell you is you are ahead of time so congratulations for that if you are in second year and you are asking me a question about what's the importance of dreams that means you are in the right direction and i'm glad that you joined the classical homeopathy course for that so let's talk about dreams here um so dream basically is a succession of images ideas emotions uh, that that a person in one or three kind of uh, feels in different stages of sleep the dreams typically occur in what is called as the rem stage of sleep which means a rapid eye movement of the sleep this is where the brain activity is very high so there are different different kind of uh, areas in the sleep circadian rhythm where you sleep you can see here the rem the dream the dream cycle the dream area rem is is very very minimal the deep sleep you can see is much much bigger this is just to give you an idea which areas you get the dreams in the sleep and this is a very interesting kind of a diagram if you see here these are the areas in the brain involved with long term memory and you can see here in rem during the dream um how the areas of the brain where memory and emotions are involved become so much more intense you can see here sigmund freud uh, one of the greatest psychologists in in the world uh, has written a, a very beautiful book uh, the interpretation of dreams he's written that interpretation of dream is the royal route to knowledge of unconscious activities of mind now this is very interesting you know because i do believe that dreams is like a subconscious window to understanding a person not everyone can remember the dream this is very important so many patients who come to us and say that you know i get a dream or someone tells me i don't get a dream it doesn't mean that we can't treat them but i do believe that people who get dreams it does mean that at a subconscious level there are a lot of patterns which are which are there which which you have to during the art of process of case taking try to uncover these patterns and and dreams are often one of the areas of the puzzle in understanding the pattern of the dreams i will give you one of the examples just yesterday i was treating a case of um, i think it was autoimmune disease a patient was from uh, i think from america or somewhere and she she was um, she was a autoimmune kind of condition arthritis all over the body arthritis um, a lot of allergies by nature she was a very secretive person very very secretive person this person and um, always trying to avoid everything always always trying to hide herself very cautious very careful trying not not letting other people know about what's happening with her and when i try to understand the dream 
she had a very interesting dream and the dream and this is very important the dream has a very important area that it should be a very central part of the case it should be intense repetitive and central part of the case so the dream that um, the lady got was dream that she's falling from a high place and when i looked at this dream and you could see the biggest remedy here is puja this is a very important dream of puja dreams of falling from a high place and beautifully the case then beautifully came out to be of that of puja okay i analyzed the case very beautifully dreams of falling from high places secretiveness cautiousness so very 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 beautifully i analyzed the case and and there were many more things in the case i i obviously cannot remember the entire case off hand the case very beautifully came out to be thuja so what happens in dream analysis you have to understand the dream in context of the case you have to understand that it is one of the puzzles in the case that can point out to a area of the case it could be giving you certain hints about a remedy but that hint should connect to the hints of rest of the part of the case and form a totality of one remedy so i use dreams often as one of the hints to understand the person many people and many many for example magnesium magnesium patients get many many dreams you know dreams of being lost dreams of dreams of being alone dreams of fruits dreams of fishes these are dreams of magnesium carp for example because at a deeper level they are very repressed and suppressed they can't even feel anything at a daily level so very often what they can't feel they feel in the dreams so these dreams can often give you a pointer towards so many things and understand and help you to get the pattern of the remedy at a deeper level so i do give a lot of importance to the dream however don't get carried away with the dreams and just ask the dreams i know many homeopaths unfortunately they listen to a seminar and then you know they just listen to a part of it and then just focus there they will straight away ask the patient tell me your dreams so that's not a good idea i would generally ask the dreams to a patient once i get a good idea about the situation in the case and the main totality of the case i probably will ask the dreams of the patient during the mid area of the casting or the later area of casting so this is a little bit about uh, dreams i hope you got a little bit of an idea about dreams uh, karuna and i hope i was able to answer your question uh, yes sir thank you so much hello and namaste from mumbai um, i am very very excited to share with you that uh, this december we are launching the advanced course on classical homeopathy so all the homeopaths out there students interns early practitioners students anywhere um this is the thing you need to join it's a weekend course online course you can sit at home and learn in today's times the world has been online um we are going to be talking about 100 polycrest remedies also rare remedies organon repertorization techniques advanced level of case taking also we'll also talk about how to use mother tinctures organ remedies biochemics it's going to be one of its kind homeopaths across the world are are going to be teaching also in this and i'm i'm working on the content of it very very closely with the best minds in homeopathy so um, i really really want every single one of you to join us be a revolution in this field i'm also going to give a lot of homework to all of you so be ready for a lot of training sessions with me also there is a early bird offer so if you register earlier you will get it at a major discounted rate and if you already attended my last course you'll also um kind of in this early bird offer you'll also get the last course that is a 6 month classical homeopathy course as a guest access we are going to increase it for 6 months so you'll also attend the last course plus this course so it's going to be close to about 200 hours of classical homeopathy at your fingertips for the next 7 8 months it's going to be one of its kind so if you want to be a genuinely good homeopath and a clinician this 200 hours will take you to the next level so forget everything else forget the netflix forget the amazon prime forget the movies forget the stories classical homeopathy at its best 
just email on the below email id register be a part of revolution every single one of you listening hand on heart join us